Right then, Connor, so you got 24 in the last paper two that you did for homework, so let's see if you manage to improve upon that. Right, so what you haven't done here is you, well, what you have done is you've added your three together, but you've forgotten to add on the one that was already printed on the page. So your total, unfortunately, is wrong. Um, now then, what have you done here? So uh, you've worked out what 10% of your answer is, which is that, but then you've taken it off. You haven't read what the question's asking you to do. If the question had asked you how much does he now have to pay, that answer is right. But it's just asking how much the discount is, and the discount for you is £4.94. So unfortunately, you don't get that mark. Okay, you've got to understand what exactly they're asking you for. Okay, meters squared, liters, meters, kilograms, good. BFCG, good. 8, 10, 11 for the page. That's good, that'll get you two marks. That's good. We're going to be doing this work next week. So um, I'll be able to show you then how to do that. That is good, and that is good too. So for the page, we've got five, nine. That is correct. That is correct. 38, 39, 10 a.m. Good, seven marks there, excellent. 1.4 you're estimating, that's fine. Church picture is about eight centimeters, car picture is that. So you've done eight divided by 0 0.6, that's good. That's fine, let me just check eight divided by 0 0.6 is. That is fine, and that is fine. But what you've then said is the height of the car times the height of the church. So that's not right. What you need to do is now see how many times the car goes in to the church. So you've got to do 8 divided by 0 0.6 first up so it's 13.3 so 13.3 of those cars stacked on top of each other is the same as the church and each one of those cars you're estimating to be 1.4 meters. So you do 13.3 times 1.4, which is 18.6 meters. So you've got all the information you need, you just haven't used it properly. Nine for the page. Okay, A is three, B is six, seven, and five, good. 29 and five, good. Now, describe in words, that's not in words, and that's not in words. So although it's correct, you're not gonna get the marks. What they're looking for there is for you to say, add three to previous number divide previous number by two okay so you've done the work you just haven't again read the question seven marks to the page 
12408, good. Now this time, you are just expected to write in the next numbers, and you have got them right. Hopefully you should be able to do that now, I will be practicing these next week. The 50 is correct, the 18 isn't, because you again are missing an important part of the question. At least three, 18 people had exactly three. These people, these two who got four, and this one that got five, they also fit into that category of at least three visitors. So you get nothing for your top number, but you do get one for putting it out to 50. And 107 is right, well done. Two, three, uh, five, 11 for the page. Okay, this is the wrong method. You don't need to do this when you're allowed to use a calculator. You just turn this into a decimal, write 36% as if it was in pounds, and then multiply by the quantity. This one, you would just write it as if I was writing the mark you get for this test on the front. It would be like that, and then times that by 100, and again, you do it on your calculator. So on your calculator, you would use your fraction button, 78 over 120 times 100 equals 65%. If you can't do pie charts, you need to learn how, because it's pretty certain you're going to get one of those, and they are easy marks. So. I don't know whether we'll have a chance to practice them in class, so have a look on the website, pie charts, and um, practice those. And it looks then as if, oh no, okay, so these are utility bills, okay, make sure you practice these. I intended them in class, but just in case. Bearings we did last week, so if you haven't got yourself a protractor, you need to buy one. That is correct, well done. Um, yellow and blue is correct. And 0.61 is correct. 147.84 is correct. So you've done a complicated percentage is one there, which is more complicated than the one you got wrong on the previous page. And 8.1 is correct, so that's, that's a good page. Five, ten marks for that page. Well done. Products of prime factors, have a look on the website, they're worth practicing, they're easy. Trial and improvement is straightforward using your calculator, watch what I do it, how I do it on the video clip. That one is quite complicated, it's Pythagoras, it's area of a triangle, and it's volume of a prism. But again, if you take a look at how I've broken that down in my video clip, uh, you know, you should be able to do it, Connor. Okay, total for that paper. 11, 20, 29, 36, 47, 57, 57. So 57 out of 100 is a grade D. You are 13 marks off a C. But last, when you consider that last time you hard 24 that is a massive massive improvement so we're really heading in the right direction well done Connor